Aste, thanks for staying up with us. Every Sunday, a new list of names of those killed by gun violence. A church in Baltimore holds a special service remembering the victims. Now they're working to prevent any more deaths. WMAR 2 News' Ashley McDowell tells us about their upcoming event aimed at making homes safer. That's right, Mallory, ending gun violence one gun at a time. That's the mission of First and Franklin Presbyterian Church, working to end accidental death from guns. Julie. Those are the names and ages of people lost to gun violence this past week. It's part of the service at First and Franklin Presbyterian Church in Baltimore. We have every Sunday a remembrance of the people that we understand have been killed by gun, gun violence, in the preceding week. Reverend Christian Ioso says sometimes the list is long, sometimes short, but even a short list is too long. We pray for them. We pray for the perpetrators. We pray for the survivors of these acts of gun violence. Death from gun violence happens all too often in the city. Reverend Ioso says they are looking to reduce gun violence with a gun buyback. We are preparing for the gun buyback next Saturday, where we will be receiving guns from people. We will be giving them gift certificates in gratitude. It's called Guns to Gardens, a project part of the national campaign aimed at reducing the number of guns in households and in communities, where September 17th from 11 to 3, people can drop off unwanted guns at First and Franklin Presbyterian Church. The guns will then be taken apart and melted into garden tools. We will be with a chop saw chopping up the guns and then we will with a blacksmith later on have them made into implements that we will give to community gardens here in Baltimore. He says getting rid of guns that are just lying around is one step in providing a safer home. Even unnecessary guns can be misused and if one is depressed or if there's domestic violence we want those guns out of the house if not off the streets. Gun owners who give an operable gun for dismantling will receive a gift card. The value will depend on the gun that is donated, ranging from $100 to $250. Police will be assisting with the gun buyback, but no names will be taken. Every donor will remain anonymous. At First and Franklin Presbyterian Church, Ashley McDowell, WMAR2 News.